Another nice feature is that after you've set the parameters for confluence and transfection efficiency, you can save them and reapply them to other images that you may have collected. To do that, you go to this batch button here, and uh, for these settings we can actually save them by giving them a name, but um, I have a list already, so we'll skip that and go to the batch analysis window here. And uh, this window carries forward the current settings always, so you can just jump straight into here without having to save anything and run it uh, to, to do a batch analysis. But uh, the saved settings appear in this list here. They can be adjusted based off of fluorescence channel and sorted in different order uh, by date created and by date last used. So we'll pick this uh, U2 OS 10X transfection medium high setting here. and. Uh, we have an option for annotating the images that are analyzed, that is embedding the uh, measurements in the images so that we can directly compare them. And uh, upon doing that, immediately reviewing those annotated images after analysis, jumping straight to the images to check. And those are engaged here. So I'm going to go ahead and click Analyze. Now there are five images in the folder, and this is the way that batch analysis works. It takes uh, images that are in the same folder and applies the parameters from your target image that you've used to s uh, set those parameters. And it goes through and uh, it's now calculating the confluence and the transfection efficiency for the GFP channel for each of the images. And once it's finished it will switch into uh, this review mode that we're seeing here and queue up the annotated images. The images themselves have been saved with an AN uh, prefix here. And uh, what we can see is that the first image has come up and uh, it has a confluence value of 73% and a GFP transfection efficiency of 68%. And we can just go through these very quickly and make sure that everything was measured properly by uh, reviewing each of the images. I've switched to the next one with 69% confluence and 41% transfection efficiency, etc. We can go through them one at a time here and just make sure that they look right. Um, if that pans out, then what we can do is just take this summary CSV file, and uh, this is a summary of the data set in um, Excel format, uh, and we can take that, put it into Excel or Origin or other types of analysis or graphing software and uh, get it ready for uh, analysis or presentation.